guys. Finally, finally, I am by myself and I get to chat about the new Finecast. And as they only bought one Space Wolf when they were at the shop buying these, I've got Nijal the Stormcaller. Nijal, in his younger days, on Ferenc used to sell ice cream. And Nijal sort of realised he was a bit of a psychic whenever he realised. He knew what flavour ice cream all the other guys from his tribe would want whenever they'd come to his ice cream stall. So whenever he got inducted into the rank of the Space Wolves, he got taken on to become a Psyker. Eventually, after getting through the Blood Claw and the Grey Knight, he got taken on to become a Rune Priest. And he's became the greatest Rune Priest that the Space Wolves have ever known. But I'm sure you'll really want to see his model. He no longer sells ice cream, though he is a big fan of uh, rum and raisin ice cream still. Personally, I prefer chocolate, but Nijal likes the old rum and raisin. Here he is. I have the old edition Nijal model. This is the later one that came out with the, the, the Space Wolf book. It's all on this nice little flexible, <laughs> very flexible sprue. My metal one doesn't do this. It stands there, upright. He's got his little birdie here, Nightwing, who uh, he got, oh, has Nightwing missing? <laughs> Nightwing is missing, a, I believe, a lump in its back. Maybe I've got this wrong, but Nightwing looks as if he hasn't just come too well out of the mould. And on his base, this is a bit just to uh, fit onto Nigel's shoulder. And the base here should actually hold it in. But Nightwing is his little birdie. It flies around, and whenever he gets attacked, it flies in that tries to pick out the eyes of the Lord. I believe it does D3 strength 5 attacks. You have Nigel's staff here. His rod of officer. It's actually a force weapon. That the thing about Nijal, which I'm a big fan of, he gets rid of the opponent's psychic powers on a three plus. I don't think anybody else in the 40k universe does this. On a three plus, gone. Anybody within 24 inches. Nijal himself has the traditional wolf pelt, wolfy looking bits down the front. I have argued with the other guys. There's not as much detail in this, but maybe, maybe there is. A lot, but is that a few bubbles I see in the back of his, in the back of his, uh, oh, wolf pelt down here? Is that a few bubbles I see, or is that just where he's got shot at in the past by some angry orcs? But anyway, nice pelt on the back. He can, uh, in game terms, he comes with one of a termi base. We all like to see our termi bases, and this is Nigel's very own base. It comes just regular Nijal at 245 points of painfulness. He gets to use two psychic powers per turn. And he has an uber storm. But I'll go and build old Nijal. And then we'll chat about him in the second half of the video and see if we can find some cool uses for him. Bar sticking him in a land raider. So, see you in the second half, guys, and see how my first attempt at building fine cast goes. Guys, this is my built Nijal the Stormcaller. As you can see, it's quite light compared to my old metal Nijal. And it has old Nightwing there on his shoulder. <laughs> Personally, I think Nightwing looks hideous, guys. I really do. I don't know if the metal version was better, but we'll get on to him. Nijal's, I probably went over this. Chief Psyker, he's got this uber storm that flies around him. He needs a line of sight though, guys. You can't stick him in a land reader in the middle of the board and use his storm. You can stick him in a rhino. He has the option. He comes with runic terminator armor. It gives him a five up save against psychic powers. And he comes with, uh, you can buy him, runic terminator armor. Really should have the selection of sizes of bases, but he comes with a big base. So that's the base you have to fit him on. 
To put Nigel together, it is handy. It's three pieces, four if you include the base. You stick either foot onto the base. Generally, you do both of these at the same time. You stick the bird onto his shoulder, Nightwing. And you stick the his runic staff and arms. You stick the two arms into the pits, which is one piece. And that is your four pieces. Bird, Nigel, staff with arms and base. The unfortunate thing is, the staff with the arms refused to stick. I don't know whether his armpits were particularly smelly. The glue is a bit odorous, <laughs> or odorful, I don't know how you would say it. But it wouldn't stick. I put super glue on it, I put plastic glue on it, I put filler glue on it. And I just had to leave it to sit for half an hour. Maybe I just stuck too much glue on it and didn't have enough patience. But uh, it didn't stick. Even his... Uh, Nightwing here, well, Nightwing's sort of gone off now, but uh, plastic glue, guys, doesn't seem to be the best job for this stuff. It works, but it works slower than even a, a normal plastic. But uh, to build, yes, they went together eventually. I think the sticking issue is the same sort of issue you can get with metal at times. You know, some days it just will not stick together, no matter what you use. But it did go together. It went together easily enough really you know a bit of patience easily enough on this base away as for the quality of the stuff oh guys really i don't i can't complain sit there i've did all my complaining put it this way if you have nothing good to say say nothing it's light that's it that's that's the one quality of it uh besides that guys it didn't impress me in any means, I would have swapped this any day for the metal one. I have the old, old-fashioned metal in the shell. I will not be swapping him for this guy anyway. Not a chance will I be swapping him for this guy. Uh, the stuff has its advantages, guys. It is light. You, I didn't need a file whenever I was building any of this here. Didn't have to file any bits off. Anything like that there. It worked the very best. That way, uh, his staff has ended up a bit crooked looking. You know, if it was metal, you'd be able to work with this a bit more. But all in all, it's not, I was going to say it's not terrible, but it's pretty bad. It is. Plastic, guys. Metal. I suppose this is the issue I really should get on to. Is this stuff better than metal? To build, it's easier to build the metal than the GW metal anyway, it's easier to build uh, quality, I don't know, I really don't, it has its advantages with the ease of build and whatnot, maybe this was brought in for our younger people and whatnot, for the ease and you don't want to be giving your 10 year old set of clippers and files and everything to start working with metal, so it is easier built, it is of a similar casting quality is about the the best you're going to get off me out of it. As for Nigel himself, he still loves his old ice cream. He got me some ice cream while I was building them, which was very good of him. And old Nightwing is uh, losing the marbles a bit. Nightwing thinks he's a part these days and starts off with the old part catchphrases. But besides that, I'll get on. Nigel's a good guy. Weapon skill 5, strength, toughness 4. Uh, two wounds, three attacks, leadership 10, two up save. He has this uber storm that storms around him. Problem is, he has to have line of sight for this storm. Read the rules carefully. Storms all around him, smacks everybody in range. But if there's anybody that can fight around him, he's in bother with the new with the clarifications that you can't just hide him in the middle of the unit of terminators and refuse to fight with him the entire time. He's not an eternal warrior. And at the odds, two psychic powers per turn for seven turns. That's, on average, two fails. I rolled some dice here just to make sure I was right. On average, two fails. And unless you stick them in that runic terminator armor, it's two wounds. Even if you do stick them in that armor, he's got a 50% chance of saving one AM wounds. So, game terms. I'm still a Logan and Arjack man. Fluff. Yes, he is cool, he has the storm, he is the classic space wolf. Just don't leave him out in the heat. We may even test him on that. Don't leave him out in the heat. And if he's used well in-game, he can be effective. 
but two normal rune priests with points to spare? I don't know, guys. What do you think? Stick some comments in below, and I'll get on to our video. <laughs>